Good morning. Uh, most every morning I um, pull out this book. It's called Morning and Evening. It's a devotional book from uh, Charles Spurgeon from the 19th century, widely available uh, even today. And so for the morning of today, June 9th, he first cites Psalm 126, verse 3. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. And I'll read you a little bit of what Spurgeon says. I found it very um, powerful and convicting. Some Christians are sadly prone to look on the dark side of everything and to dwell more upon what they have gone through than upon what God has done for them. Ask for their impression of the Christian life, and they will describe their continual conflicts, their deep afflictions, their sad adversities, and the sinfulness of their hearts. Yet with scarcely any allusion to the mercy and help which God has vouchsafed them. But a Christian whose soul is in a healthy state will come forward joyously and say, I will speak not about myself, but to the honor of my God. He has brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. The Lord hath done great things for me, whereof I am glad. I found that convicting because in, in these days, um, with the... Um, pandemic going on with the numbers here in Arizona uh, not looking good at all, uh, with the church um, not meeting in our customary way for a few months now. Um, it's so easy to look on the bleak side, the dark side, as Spurgeon says. And uh, this is a good reminder, uh, no matter uh, what we're going through uh, right now, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Amen.